Praise the Lord. Welcome to Life in the Word. My name is Minister Emmanuel Renee Jr. As you come in, please like, share, and subscribe to Life in the Word if you haven't already. I pray that your day has been blessed and highly favored today. Send this word out to your friends, your family, your co-workers, whoever you know. Send the word out so that can bless them today. It could be a word for them today. So don't hold the word for yourself. Amen. We're going to get right into our topic today. Send you the first We've been in the season of praise, and I pray that you've been taking your stance and your position in praise and coming with expectation, acknowledging the Lord, approaching him with humility and humbleness and surrendering your praise to him, which acknowledges that he is God. The Bible says, I'll bless the Lord at all times and his praise will be continually in my mouth. There is not a time that we should stop praising God. But there, we should praise God at every single time, every season, every moment we can. We should praise God, acknowledge him and his glorious power. Amen. So we're going to get into our teaching today, 2 Chronicles chapter 20. We've been talking about King Jehoshaphat, and he has declared a fast all over Judah for the enemies that were coming, the Ammonites, the Moabites, the, the Menunites. They were all coming to attack judah amen and we last left off in verse five it says then jehoshaphat stood in the assembly of judah and jerusalem in the house of the lord in front of the new courtyard and said O lord god of our fathers are you not god in heaven and do you not rule over all the kingdoms of the nation power and might are in your hand there is no one able to take a stand against you our O our god did you not drive out the inhabitants of this land before your people Israel and give it forever to the descendants of your friend Abraham? They have lived in it and have built you a sanctuary in it for your name, saying, If evil comes on us or the sword of judgment or plague or famine, we will stand before this house and before you, for your name and your presence is in this house. And we will cry out to you in our distress. And you will hear and you will save us. Amen. So King Jehoshaphat reminded the Lord that the Jews were his covenant people. The temple where Jehoshaphat was praying was God's sanctuary and the place where he promised to hear and answer prayer. Amen. And King Jehoshaphat is teaching us what to do when we want answers and we want answers to our prayers. Amen. And we want God to respond. You have to go to the place, my God, the sanctuary, the place where he promised to hear answers, for, um, to, to answer prayers and to answer, um, to worship. Amen. So you have to know where is the place where you have gotten answers? Where is the place where you have gone before and you have sought the Lord and, you've, and you seek his holy face? And that is the place where you have to go. When calamity is breaking out, when all hell is breaking out, when challenges come, when tough times happen, where do you go? Where is the place that you go that you know if you go there, God can answer you and God will respond to you? See, your place and location, you have to know where it is. Come on, to get a signal. Come on. It's the same thing with cell phone coverage. There's a place where you get strong signal. You may get signal everywhere, but there are some places you get stronger signal. Amen. And you have to know the location and where to go. It could be in your home. It could be somewhere where you know where you have prayed. You have built an altar before the Lord. Amen. Just like King Jehoshaphat is reminding the people where the sanctuary is the place we must be. Uh, to get the answer to our prayers. Find your place, your sanctuary, where you have built, where you have gone before and you wept tears and you sought God in humility. That is the place you go. Come on, it could be in your, come on, your favorite praying closet. It could be in your bedroom, your living room. It could be in your basement. Come on, it could be in the backyard. Who knows where it is? But you can, you got to go to that place so that God can answer you. That God can respond to you. So you have to find your prime location and where you have built up your praise and built up your worship. Amen. So that God can come in. Amen. So Jehoshaphat is reminding the Lord that, that the Jews were his 
people, his covenant people. Amen. And to those to whom Israel had once shown kindness were now coming to destroy her and take away her land. So Jehoshaphat closed his impassioned appeal with all Judah, stood before the Lord awaiting his answer. Amen. So we have to tarry. We have to continue to praise. We have to continue to seek God. That it's going to take not just one time seeking God, but you're going to have to seek God and seek God again until he answers. Amen. A lot of times we, want, we, we think that we can put pressure on our praise and pressure on our prayer. But we should not pray and praise and put a time frame on it. We just have to continue to seek God. And when he is ready, that he will answer. Amen. That you just have to know that you are in the right place to receive that answer. Amen. The, come on. The children of Israel were right in the sanctuary, the presence of God. Amen. So they knew eventually that through fasting and through prayer, that they will be in the right place for God to answer them. And you have to be in the right place for God to answer you. Sometimes we are so caught up and wrapped up in our issues and our problems. We're so wrapped up what's going on in life. We're so wrapped up on the burden and wrapped up on what's happening internally with us that we don't allow God to respond. And we have to be in a place where we can cry out in our distress. Come on. And that we can cry out um, and know that I don't have to worry. I don't have to be afraid. I don't have to be burdened by what is facing me. Yes, I may know enemies are coming against me. You may have people saying all things about you. Come on, you may be having some things that's going on on the job and going on in your home, but you have to be in a place where you cry out and let God be God. Amen. Let God be a God that um, answers due to our praise and due to us crying out. See, we can't be ashamed to cry out to the Lord. We can't be ashamed to seek his face when things are going on in our life. Come on, there was things going on in the nation of Israel. Much war was coming against them. But King Jehoshaphat understood that for me to get an answer from God, I have to go back to the place on where his presence is. Amen. Where I knew his presence, where I, 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 I encountered his presence. You have to go back to the place where you first encountered the presence of God. Yes, you can praise God anywhere. Yes, you can worship God anywhere, but you have to sometimes go back to the place. Come on, where you first met God and fell in love with God. Go back to the place where you know, if I can feel his presence in one location, I know in this location, my God, I have toiled. I have built up my praise in this location. I built up my praise in this room. Hallelujah. You built up your praise. Come on, in your favorite spot. You got to find the place, the sanctuary of God. It could be in the church. It could be anywhere. But you got to know where to go when you need answers. Amen. You have to know where to go when things are happening in your life and we don't know what to do. We know where to go, though. We know where to find God. We know how to seek him in this place. Amen. So King Jehoshaphat is declaring to the people of Israel and acknowledging God and saying that if evil comes or the sword or judgment or plague or famine, we know where to stand. We know what to do when things happen. Amen. So know where to stand today. Know where to go today. Know where to, to seek God today. It is not everywhere you stand. It's not everywhere you go. But we have to stand where the presence of God is for us to get the answers from God. Amen. So I pray the word encourage you today and that we can take a lesson from King Jehoshaphat and stand in the place where God's presence is. Know where the presence of God is. Know where the presence of God is flowing. Amen. See, we can pray anywhere, but you know 
where to go. You know where the prince of God lingers. Amen. Because we have to build up our location of praise. Not everywhere has been built up. So you have to build up your praise. Amen. So get back to the place where his presence is, where you know when you cry out, God will respond. Amen. So pray, praise the Lord. I pray again. This word encourage you. Share it out. Amen. We bet be back here today uh, on, on tomorrow on Life in the Word. Uh, my name again is Minister Emmanuel Renee Jr. Please remember Jesus is Lord. God bless you.